Some people are the hero. Some people live long enough to become the villain. This is the national championship game between the University of Michigan Wolverines, who are somehow number one, versus the number three, Texas A&M Aggies. There's Lance Harbor, the second, number seven, leading his Aggies onto the field. And we are ready to go. Listen to that crowd, man. Everybody's doing the airplane. That's cool. There they are celebrating their hometown crowds. Cheerleaders doing their thing. There's the Michigan fans. Big blue in the house. All right. So look at this. Everything's in gold. I like that. All right. So Lance Harbor takes the field for the first drive. Of the national championship. What's he going to do? He's going to give it to the running back. Who gains actually loses too. Okay. So. He's going to take the field. Or take the line of scrimmage yet again. Give it to his running back. Who gets a nice little gain there. Gains all of 10 yards. For third and two now. Look at this. And that's our first down. Let's go. Love it, love it. Let's see what we do here. Aggies. Giving it to his running back yet again. See, this is exactly what Lance Harbor II was upset about. And you know what? Just a little secret between you and I. The athletic director, the coach, and Lance Harbor II all had another argument. And uh, it looks like this might be, could be, probably is, the last game for Harbor as a Texas Aggie. Second and nine now. As Lance Harbor makes a couple of changes to the line. I think he's relaying it to his team there. He's going to give it to his running back yet again. Almost gets stopped in the backfield. They do actually stop him. It's third and 11. Look at this, right at the 50 yard line. He's gonna drop back. Try to find a man. Ah, uh, he caught it. Whoa, first and goal. Okay, so we get four shots here to go ahead and knock it into the end zone. Lance Harbor gives it to his running back and he gets in for six points. That's E.J. Smith, Emmett Smith's son, a Dallas Cowboys legend. Awesome. All right, so it's 7-0. Ball again goes to the Aggies. Look at this. Deep in Michigan territory, marching towards the end zone with their own name on it. He gives it to his running back who narrowly avoids a Michigan rush. Second and three is your down and distance. Harbor makes a couple of changes. Surveys the field, drops back to throw after snapping the ball. He almost gets sacked. It's going to be third and three after that almost sack. Attempted sack, I guess is the right way to put it. <laughs> so we'll give it to the running back, Will the Aggies, and it'll be fourth and one. Are they going to go for it or are they going to kick the field goal? I bet they take the points. No, they... Wow, they went for it. All right. So, first and ten. He makes a couple of adjustments. And to the running back it goes. Who loses three? All right, all right. That was one all right away from a Matthew McConaughey uh, quote. <laughs> so he makes a couple of changes. Does Lance Harbor the second? Before he can snap the ball. He finally snaps the ball. And gets sacked for a loss. Third and 23. That is one of the things. That Lance Harbor the second griped about. Was the lack of an offensive line here. And he gets popped yet again. And it's going to be fourth and 24. So they might take the points here. That's a long way to go. For being that close to the end zone. They do. They take the points. It's 10-0. They are right at the 50-yard line yet again. Just about anyway, as you can see, the yard marker there. And we'll give it to the running back. The Aggies do. And they get a short gain. It's going to be second seven. 
with a minute to go in the first quarter. So they give it to the running back yet again, who gets stuffed pretty much for no gain. Loses the yard, actually. It'll be third and eight. Michigan's defense is strong. I think Lance Harbor has had enough. He's going to drop back. Find his man. Is that Donovan Green? Yes, it is. That's going to be one bond and friendship that I'm going to miss watching. And hearing about is Donovan Green and Lance Harbor the second because Green is actually in the record books a couple times because of Lance. And Lance is in the record books once or twice because of Green. Here goes Harbor. He takes off. It's going to be third and one after that nice little gain. Manageable for sure. Clock's going down. It's going to be the end of the first pretty soon. First down. Good run. Gotta love that running back, man. But yeah, I mean, like I was starting to say in one of the last couple of games, uh, they rely a little too heavily on the run game. Lance Harbour wants to throw and show the coach that he has what it takes to be a reliable person, a trustworthy person. Coach just doesn't want to do it. And... Play action pass. He finds his man. Third and six. Ah. I mean, like I said, he wants to be known as a reliable person, but it's just, for whatever reason, not working out. So Lance Harbor drops back to throw. Finds a man in zone. Touchdown. It's green. <laughs> he salutes. Go figure. I believe that puts Lance Harbor in the record book for most touchdowns in a season, passing Johnny Manziel for the Aggies. Um, 17 nothing your score. Wow. Ooh. That'll be second and 12. That play got blown up in the backfield. Um, where will Lance Harbor the second go from here? I really don't know. But it was really unfortunate to hear about how everything kind of unfolded. You know, it could have been Lance Harbor's attitude. You know, it's a guy that believes in himself. He's young and unproven. And I mean, now he's been pretty proven. But, you know, what can he do at this point? Um, but he wanted to he wanted to have a crack at being the starting quarterback for the Aggies and he, he won the quarterback battle and you know some upperclassmen were not happy about it coach felt like Lance Harbor the second was a little bit brash about um, being the starter at first you know he is undefeated as an Aggie as a starter fourth and three but He's got double-digit interceptions, man. He's got, like, 15, I think it is. 16, 14, I don't know. Somewhere in that neighborhood. 14, 15, or 16. And it's only going to go up from here, I have a feeling. Oh, he gets bum-rushed. Yike. And, no, um, it, it just it didn't work out for whatever reason. And that's okay. I mean, he, he left his mark on the school. He got them into the national championship, which I can't even remember the last time they were in that uh, category. I believe it was in the 90s. Oh, great. Mm, too bad it didn't work out. That was a great show of arm strength. Look at this. We take the field to get yet again to the Aggies up 17 to 3. With just under two to go. Actually a minute and a half. Just over a minute and a half to go in the half. Lance Harbour drops back to throw. Trying to find a man in the middle of the field. Does not work. And so he will take to the line of scrimmage again. Drop back to throw. Trying to find a man to the right. Incomplete pass. He's getting more frustrated. I mean. I don't know. Did... The teammates kind of foil him. Did ooh, 
Did his attitude kind of kill his chances of being a successful Aggie? I don't know. You can see his frustration, though, as he leads his Aggies to a 3 and out. They get the ball yet again. They are up 17-10 now. Just under a minute to go in the first half. Lance Harbour will drop back to throw. Find a man. Hey, doesn't get much. Second and five. So, offense goes to the line of scrimmage. Looking for a screen, shot, uh, screen pass, maybe. That ah, gets blown up in the backfield. Third and five. Okay. Lance Harbour goes to the line of scrimmage. He makes a couple of changes. Doesn't like what he sees. Looks like he's changing things up yet again. He's going to drop back to throw. Find a man. Beautiful pass. Beautiful catch. Moving right along. They call a timeout to save a little time. That That's a very, very, very smart move. And they take to the line of scrimmage yet again. Moving closer to Pater. Michigan side of the field with this pass maybe. Yep. Good pass. Good catch. Timeout. Wanted to go out of bounds there, just couldn't make it, so he's going to take to the line of scrimmage yet again. Drop back to throw. Looking for that tight end. Finds him on the sidelines, yes. Gotta wonder, man, is he trying to show them what they're going to be missing out on when he leaves? Uh, he's going to drop back to throw again. Find the man. That's his tight end. Beautiful catch. Beautiful throw. And it's going to be a first down. So we're going to try and move it on forward here. First and goal to go. He's making some changes. He's going to drop back. Oh, that was yike. That's the second and goal. Mm -hmm. He's getting more and more frustrated, though. Look at him. You saw his body language there. Lance Harbor finds a man touchdown. Look at that. Number two. He says night-night. Absolutely loving the way this game is unfolding thus far. It's 24 to 10, 24 to 17 now after the half. 430 remaining in the third. We take the field. Do the Aggies. Lance Harbor makes a change to the run direction. He's gonna give it to his running back, and they get stymied. It's gonna be second and ten. Okay, he's getting more frustrated. You see him shrug? Man, so he's going to drop back to throw. Looking for the wide receiver screen. That was a successful play. It's going to go for a nice little game. It'll be third and one. We hurry up to the line of scrimmage. Trying to survey the defense and the field. He's going to get popped in the backfield. It's going to be fourth and nine. Lance Harbor picks himself up. Gets, gets himself dusted off. He's not very happy. Look at this, 24-24 now. With two and a half remaining in the third. We have the ball, do the Aggies. He's making some changes. Lance Harbor the second. Taking control of the offense. He's going to fling it. That's going to be an incomplete pass. He's getting more frustrated. You can tell by the way he's walking. He's going to give it to his running back. Running back goes for a nice little game straight up the field now. First and 10. Coach says, all right. And we're going to call the running back's number yet again. It's going to be first down. Inching closer and closer to that 50-yard line. Oh, second and 11. That play did not work. The problem with the running and constant running at that is that the defenses will eventually sniff it out. And that's what Michigan is really good at doing. Ooh, they tried to blow him up in the backfield. And unfortunately, got him for no gain. So Lance Harbor is forced to go to the line of scrimmage with a pass play. With a third and 11 at his fingertips. We're going to see what he does here. Drops back to throw after making some changes. He's got a man, maybe. Ooh, great pass, great catch. Great gain. Oh, somebody's hurt. Bad way to go down at the national championship, man. He Oh, a minute and a half, by the way, of the third. Remains. Fakes a handoff. Drops back. Does Lance Harbor goes deep with it? Well, medium. And that's a successful pass play. 
So we'll move it right along. First and ten. Clock winding down on the third. Aggie Ball sends a man in motion. Drops back to throw. Finds his tight end for a touchdown. Let's go Aggies. That's Donovan Green there. He is... <laughs> the young man's doing his best impression of Connor McGregor there. Well, at least in my eyes. That was pretty funny. A minute left to go in the third though. The... Aggies take the lead, not for long as Michigan ties it up. Fourth quarter is now here with five and a half to go in the fourth. Lance Harbor takes the field, gives it to his running back, and they sniff it out. No surprise. Second and 11. So the coach tells them what to do. They look like they're going to run a running play, perhaps. They do just that. Goes for a short little gain. It's going to be third and seven to go. Clock's ticking the wrong way. Lance Harbor makes a couple of changes. He might get a chance to throw it down the field. He does. Heaves it. Oh, great pass. Great catch. First down. Donovan Green is still. Still. The man on the field to beat, in my eyes. Lance Harbor makes a couple of changes, snaps the ball, drops back to throw after a fake handoff. Oh, he came back for that. That was beautiful. Great pass, great catch. Let's go. Moving right along. Clock's ticking. I mean, seconds are dying away like the sands of an hourglass. Oof. Second 12. Yike. Yikes, indeed. So we'll get another crack at this, though. Second and 12. Probably a run play. Looks like it. Yep, he's going to give it to his running back who gets a short little gain. Third and eight, I believe that says. Yikes. Gain of four. Third down here. This could be the game. I mean, it very well could if the Aggies can... Convert and make something happen. He makes a couple of changes, drops back to throw, finds his man, doesn't get the corner cut, and it's going to be fourth and four. So, what does coach do here? He takes the points. That's smart. Michigan comes back and scores, gives the Aggies the ball with 224 remaining in the game. So, the Aggies get pressured. He drops back to throw, incomplete pass. Pressure was definitely there. Coach wants to put it in Lance's hands, I guess, with a bunch of curl patterns. So he makes a couple of changes, does Lance Harbor, drops back, finds a man, complete pass. That's amazing. Turns a second down into a first down just that quick. Closer to the 50 we are. Oh, we're on the other side of the 50. My mistake. We're on the plus side of the 50. He gives it to his man. Great pass. Green could be hurt. No, he got back up. Okay, good. Gonna be looking for that tight end. I can almost guarantee you. He drops back to throw to his Lance Harbor. Goes for the sideline. Great pass. Great catch. Number 80 that time. Look at this, under two remaining in the game. Lance Harbor has the game-winning drive in his hands. He gives it to his man on a short pass. And we'll take the first down. Coach wants us to throw deep with a minute and 45. And counting remaining in the game. Lance Harbor makes a couple of changes. He'll drop back to throw. Fling it on. That's going to be an incomplete pass. That's okay. Stops the clock. It's going to be second and ten. Lance Harbor goes to the line of scrimmage. Makes a couple of changes. Trying to tell the offensive line to get in the position he wants him in. He drops back to throw after snapping the ball. Beautiful pass. Beautiful catch. Clock is still dwindling. As they take to the line of scrimmage. Drop back to throw. Lance Harbor. He had room to run. He flings it though. Great pass. Great catch. Second. And we'll call it medium. Should have ran it. That would have been a lot easier. But oh well. So he drops back to throw yet again. Finds a man for a short gain. That's 
barely inning game, third and six. Um, with a minute to go, just over a minute. There's a minute two, a minute one, a minute, and less than a minute to go. Oh my gosh, he's making a couple of changes. Lance Harbor snaps the ball, trying to find a man, all or nothing here. It goes for nothing. It's going to be fourth down. Game is on the line with under 50 seconds to go. Lance Harbor drops back to throw. Gets pressured. Finds his man. That's going to be a touchdown. Aggies. With the game on the line, fourth down. He's got ice in his veins. It's 41-38. That could be the national championship clincher right there. And Lance Harbor was at the helm for the lead. He led a comeback win for the national championship. Victory formation. The Aggies are national champions. Lance Harbor is undefeated as a starter. Look at his team. My gosh. That is amazing. Great game, Michigan. Great fight. All the love and respect goes to you. Aggies come out victorious. 41-38. Has been difficulty, by the way. And nothing but. Look at the coach. He was coach of the year, too. Now, unfortunately, that marks the end of this chapter of his college tenure. College career. Yeah, college career. Is going to be the player of the game. 387, 64.3 percentage, four touchdowns. He set some, he, I believe, set the record for most touchdowns in a season now. And that was his man, Donovan Green. There's the team celebration. Uh, we're going to have to wait and see what he does next. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.